Okay, welcome back. We have our rig here and we have our head controls. We can rotate this control. Um, we have our eye controls. We can do the movement for the eyes. We can use our individual eye control, our left eye control and right eye control. And we can do some scaling so like if it's shocked, he can go. <gasps> he can pop out the or anything you want to do like that. Or you can blink using the scale, but it's not that appealing. It's like, I'm bored. So you can use it for that, but if you want something happy, I've gone ahead and sculpted some expressions for like perplexed, um, surprised, sad, blah blah blah, and they are not very good. It's just a quick test. But like say for angry, we can have this kind of shape like angry, and then squashed, we can have squashed, and some others here. And so I can show you guys how to use this little rig to do a simple, simple, simple animation. Maybe we wanna just do some hit turn. So let's start by creating some selection uh, sets. Actually, I only need one selection set because it's a very simple animation. We can select our head control, our eye control, and these two individual eye controls. Create set, quick selection set, and we call it main underscore QSS and add it to the shelf. So what happens is we have a shelf button now that selects all four controls or we can click on this quick selection set and press down and you'll select all four controls. These are not duplicates of the, the object itself, it's just a selection node that you can click on it and select it. So let's begin. We will select our head controller and then set a key, hold it for maybe 8, 7, 8 frames, set a key and then it turns in maybe 5 frames. So it turns like that. Whoop. And then we will hold it for another 8 frames. Somewhat. So it's a uh, real key, 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 and then key. So these two are the same, these two are the same, and then there's a transition here. And then we want some dip in the head, so we can do an over arc or an under arc. So just to do an under arc, so it goes like whoop, like this. But we don't want a fully stalled motion here, so we'll, we'll copy our frame 11 to frame 12 so that we get some kind of moving hole here. If it's too much, we can take 15 and put it at 12, and then we'll have some kind of moving hole here. So it doesn't look too dead, but it's a hold after all. So it's like, and then over here it's a full hold. So we I'll take frame nine, copy it to frame eight, and there's a moving hold, but this too much, not too much of a hold. So I'll take maybe frame four or five and put it to frame one. So it goes like what? So that's that, and we will have our blink in the process. So if it goes down over here, maybe frame nine. We can call our individual eye controls. Let's just run through the main keys and just set the empty keyframe on all of the channels. And so we have our keys here. So this is the main part of the blink. So maybe down here it will be fully closed like this. And so maybe uh, it takes one frame to close and more frames to open. Perhaps. So it's like one frame to close and then it holds for two frames and then it opens in two frames. So there's no hard and fast rule on this, it's just it's just because we don't have any context here, so what? So maybe after it what? And one eye can be bigger than the other. So I'll just turn this smaller to get some interest and I'll copy this frame here what? and then maybe after this it gets angry so what? what? Err, something like that so let's take out all four controls we have held this for this long and then we'll get angry now angry so on frame 23 we'll turn this to angry angry Maybe we can lower the eyes a little bit. And of course we need a hit dip. So maybe like this. Maybe that movement down is too much. We want to be careful with this kind of things. And of course the movement down, it's uh, after this it holds all the way for 50 frames so we don't want that. Maybe for the next 8 frames or 10 frames or whatever we need to get some kind of moving hole. We will take this frame, 22, and move it to 22. So it 
gradually goes down. It's a hole, but it's a subtle, but it's a moving hole. Mm. And after it goes down, maybe the intensity here can increase. We have a uh, per perplex control, which controls the bottom bit, so we can actually call this bottom bit and make this kind of movement. So, uh, I'm angry, I'm angry. So it goes down, and here we can add a little bit of jet here. So it goes down, um, and then we add the jitter here. left a bit and then maybe right a little bit and of course it shouldn't move as fast as the eye the eye is smaller the head is bigger so it shouldn't go too fast all right let's go into frenzy mode and maybe it can be earlier so it looks and then it gets really angry so so that's it we've created a rig from scratch um, we have um, Build a 2D iRig that we can use for simple characters like this and make some simple animation. So, so maybe I'll just like this scene and just render it out so that you guys can see um what's the final look of this animation. So I just made a quick render and you can see what it looks like. Then, yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Right, cheers. <laughs>